Schlesinger. Uh, I gave a lot of thought about doing this tutorial because there was a lot of tutorials for this song and I told myself uh, what can I do better than them. So I don't. I just uh, I can show you the same thing but uh, I can give you my point of view of how to make the song really live, not just the notes but uh, give it uh, all, uh, also life and also consider the drums inside and the bass parts because it's really tempting to teach just the guitar parts because it's so complicated and so so much things going on but uh, I think there's a lot of things uh, inside the song uh, like in uh, the bass movement that are really really important and beautiful and uh, I don't I didn't see in the other tutorials that uh, people gave attention to this so I'll try to do it and also of course the rhythm part the right hand that uh, this makes it alive, not just uh, be played. So let's start. So we play this song on couple three, and the tuning is an open G. Open G means that the first string went uh, one step down from E to D. The second string didn't move, first string didn't move, fourth string didn't move. Fifth string went down from A to G, and the E, low E string went down also from E to D, which means like drop D. And it sounds like a full chord. Um, and now these positions, I don't know how to call them in chords, and I want to say in this tutorial the name of the chords that I'm playing. So I'll, I'll treat them as in the original key, which means F major. And the first chord will be F. And so we have here F, we have a C major, we have B flat, we have D minor, which is also can be like this, I'm doing it uh, this way, or this way, or this way, I don't remember which finger, I'll see. And uh, there is G, uh, G minor, which is... G minor 7 in this case, I think. Okay, so this is all the chords of the song. And now let's see the positions, okay? So the first chord will be F and we do it this way. We take a bow uh, with the first finger and we put it not on all over the strings, but the sixth string will remain open, but the other one will be, okay, will be covered by the bow. And we take the ring finger and put it on the fourth string, fourth fret. The middle finger will go to 2nd string, 3rd fret and the little pinky will go to 1st string, 4th fret so we have this chord which is F okay? and the second one will be C major that is just put a bow uh, like you did in this chord you don't have to, to move your hands already you just take off these uh, fingers and stay with this bow this is C major we don't need the six string, so because I, if I don't play on some string, I don't press on him because I don't want to lose uh, my strength uh, during the song because a lot of bar it can be very tiring. So I just uh, put it on from the fifth string because I played it just from the fifth string, and this is C major, okay? For five, four, three, two, one, and B flat will be the easiest one. Open strings from fifth to first. And D minor. Um, D minor is three fingers that you can do it like this. Uh, it's like an A shape, but uh, just in another place. So, uh, fifth, tri fifth uh, string, fourth fret with the middle finger. Ring finger, fourth string, fourth fret. And the little pinky, first string, fret so and two and one are open and we have this chord as you can see in my uh, performance I, I like to do it in this way like bend the the finger it's not uh, really hard but it's not also easy you have to be uh, used to it so you can try this I, I saw uh, once James Taylor a uh, tutorial about that he do a G chord he doesn't look, do it like this with these two fingers he do it like this, with a little bar also here. And he said that if you bar it, it will be more accurate than do put two fingers. Because a little, uh, two fingers, it's sometimes you bend it a little bit and it's 
it's not really yeah so I think I also do it because it's more accurate and also I'm a little bit flexible in in my uh, fingers so I can afford it myself but if you can afford it yourself I think it will be much better than to put three fingers that it's really tied up here and you can miss but in this way no enemies okay so now let's talk about uh, the intro so is F, F and uh, we start with bass and first uh, six and f first uh, string together and fourth together six and one and four three two so four three two one okay okay six and one and four three two back to the bass and now you do like it's like a strum but it's not really strum it's like a, a little of strum but uh, it's the feeling of strum but you don't really strum like a, without the kick sound just the the energy of the strum and the strum this strum will be on the fourth three and second string second chord which is C so again uh, f fifth string and fourth and first string together and then three two so okay and then open which is B flat it's the same movement as the first chord, like a fifth and four and first string together, and four, three, two, one. So. And, and. Okay, so after this four, three, two, one bass, and again, this little strum on on, uh, you can do it from fourth or first string till the first. Never mind, you can hit this and you can hit the fourth fret. You just do it in, on time and we feel. It doesn't matter which strings you, you touch. Don't touch the fifth one, of course, but you can touch the fourth or the third. It's okay, so let's do it slow. One, two, three, and. Shit, sorry, one. After this little kick, you take back the C chord and you do five, three, and two together. And uh, hammer on with the middle finger on the third uh, fret on the second string. And first string, second fret, which is also already on the bar. So, okay. So. Then after we do this, uh, we go back to the same thing. Um, and now it's like a little arpeggio. Yeah. So I do six and first one, four, three, two, one, two, and I go back to two before I do the arpeggio. So it's like giving me the power to do it. I do it slow. And the arpeggio will be uh, with the thumb, the third, it's, it's from the sixth to first string, 
and we're going down. So, and the first uh, three notes on the sixth, fifth, and fourth uh, string will be with the thumb. So, okay, and then we go to the finger. Three, two, like in the first fingers, middle, middle finger, and ring finger. So. Then, when we get here, we just uh, move the hands and uh, it's like a, um, it's not hammer on, what is the opposite of hammer on? Uh, <laughs> I forgot the name. Uh, yeah. Just a, uh, oh, what's the name of it? Okay, just pull off. Okay. So I pull off from uh, the first ring. It's, you, you hear this, but it's pull off. So you hear the essence of the chord when we pull off. You hear also the new chord. You don't play it, but you hear it on the background with this bass. It's really beautiful. You hear this, and also the bass is still ringing. So. When you, after you pull off here, you go into the second string on this C chord and you just uh, do a B flat with, from fifth to first with the thumb. Four, three, two, four, three, two, one. So let's see what's going on there. like a little strum on the C chord until you don't have to go to the first uh, string until the third or second so from the beginning slow one two three After the, the last drum, you take also the fourth string, just uh, play on the fourth string with something, uh, never mind. Like, and then again, now, and now the second uh, the round of the intro is with rhythm, like. Okay, here it's, it's pretty much the same, and I don't get into it like exactly when to strum because you have to feel it just uh, you can you can before you try even to do the arpeggio that's true try just to hold it like this okay and then uh, when you can master it master it just to do it with the little arpeggios because sometimes you have to do a strum with a note and, and uh, you, you saw it in my previous tutorials and I never explained how to do it not because I'm a bad guy, because I don't really know how to explain, just just have to try to hit notes with a strum. I'm just, I'm, I'm with these two fingers, I'm, I'm doing the notes. Uh, it's not accurate, but uh, it's, uh, I'm going to the area of the note I want, so, like, you see, I also touch this, but you hear this one also. Okay, so you can just try it. Okay, so after the... Same thing, and now you okay. Now it's beautiful. The last one, so and after you hear on the B flat with the pink, you do okay. It's just just a just a little from fourth uh, on, the, on the first string, fourth fret. Slide it to fifth, go back to fourth, and with the first uh, finger, fe second fret on the first string. Okay, so. 
and it's and uh, everything else is open because we're still on the B flat, so we don't need to do anything else except this note. So. Okay. And then we go back here on to this go to F, but now we want to go to the base of the open E. And we go to we start from this note. And this is the beautiful part because the bass is doing it. The guitar Mark uh, doing the same, but the bass is going here, and, and you can hear. Okay, so it's the same chord, but you just start it with this bass instead of the open one. So. flat uh, before you start the song it's like strum and and you just just starting like in a, in a very beautiful it's like a very romantic play, uh, way of playing it a love struck so let's do all the intro now I do it slow and after you practice you can try to do it with me slow and if it's not slow enough you can slow it on YouTube <laughs> 1.5 take one song itself you need to keep a couple things in mind you have to stay on, a, on the rhythmic part uh, like a love struck Romeo sing a street it's like this is a kind of a uh, strumming yeah okay really chill one not like a yeah we're not in a rock song we're in a love song so And uh, from time to time, do like uh, an arpeggio, like a uh, last track, Romeo. Sing it. Okay. And now the chords of the verse is we start on F, a love start, Romeo, and then the D minor, which I, we talked about earlier. You can do it also like this, or with these three fingers, never mind. Go to whatever you want. I like to do it in this way. So. Ah, and I like to do it in, with the first finger, okay? A love struck Romeo, sing a street, you see, from fifth to first, sing a street, a serenade, on C, and then C is the transmission chord to the next step up, letting everybody know, with a love song, B, E flat, C, trying to be now, B flat, C, then I know, F, and when you go back to the little people like that, and... So, what's going on there? The F, you, you take off the fourth... Uh, the ring finger from the fourth uh, fret on the fourth string. So, it's, it would be now just the bar. It's, uh, it's fourth uh, string, second fret, which is already on the bar. And then you hammer on it again, back. Third string. Second fret, which is already in the bow, so and, and go to the second string, third fret, which is in the chord itself. Okay, so, so and and when you go back to the B flat, you and me, babe, our God, and so the B flat will not go until the first string because it's the uh, you need to read this note. Right? So. Ah, now I realize that this note, I told you this third fret on the second string, is also like an open E string, and you can do yeah, instead of this. But I do. You and me, babe, it's like B flat until the second string. 
you and me, babe. C and C and then I like this movement. So C and you're just going in in arpeggio to the second two, 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 five, four, three, two, and then we start the the lick. Da, da, e, da, da. Oh, with the never mind which finger you go, but you go to the third string, fourth fret. Again, to the second fret on the first string, which is on on the bar. And uh, the little pinky will go to fourth string, fifth fret. And, uh, and then you back to the fourth string, fourth fret, and this this is the F chord. So it's like. You, you, you already do the chord and you can empathize this note because but never mind the, the ear will hear it anyway so you and me babe how about it Judy okay so Juliet F D minor C A F C and then you go from C D minor Southern in the window, she said, Hey, la, my boyfriend's boyfriend's. Ah, maybe I, I missed something before you. Love song from you, sing, sing the sweet to say, Let everybody do love song. Ah, okay, I forgot something. When you go many ways, I just told you to go from B flat to C, but I forgot to tell you that uh, this. So, we will love so many ways. So, after the B flat, you, before you go back to the C, uh, you do in the middle finger on the third, uh, third string, from second fret to fourth fret, you slide it and open E string, and then you go to C. So, love so Romeo, sing a sweet song, let everybody know, with a love song that you need. Fun street, okay? And uh, then let's go back where we were. Julie said, Hey, Tromeo, give me heart. Ah, I told you. Yeah. Hey, Tromeo, nearly give me. But maybe you don't need to do it. I just given you an option. Maybe you can just go to D minor without this uh, middle chord. So Juliet said, Hey, Tromeo. I don't remember how it in the song. You can, but it doesn't matter. Just whenever you do, I. I I'm sure everyone will like it. Julie said, Hey, Tromeo, you nearly gave me a heart attack. He's underneath the window, she said. Ah, now it's like this, see? He's underneath the window, she said. Hey, my boyfriend's this lick. See? Now we're on B flat and C. But people like E, F again. Against. Flat, and I'm gonna do about it. And now I'm doing like a, the C chord, but as I do in the D minor here, like this, I also do it on the second fret now, so it's a kind of C sus 9 or something. It's some, it's a, it feels like a sus chord, and it's really good because we need like a it's a transition of uh, the drums also to the chorus. So, wait, what you gonna do about it? So, hey, what you gonna do about it? You can do it like this, of course, like the D minor here. So, anyway, what you gonna do about it? And I do it like in Saturn's so swing, I do this uh, little uh, flamenco. Chorus like a strong, don't be afraid, just give your heart to this Juliet. So F, C, D minor, C, B, B flat, and now and then F, C, D minor, C, B flat, C, E, C, F, C, F, C, B flat, D 
D minor, and when you get to D minor, you just go like down and move the song. Like down, it's like a, you're waiting for something. Yeah, it's like a. Yeah, when we mix. This is loaded from the start. Not bad. When we are exploded into my heart, and I forget, I forget the song, the movie song. When, yeah, so it stopped the song there. Okay, so. Uh, when we're exploded into my heart, and I forget, I forget, and we're less. You have the D minor? The movie song. Again, this uh, is like from further, uh, like it was in the verse, from further fret to fourth fret on the first string, string to, and then fir, uh, first string open. Okay. The movie song, it's like in B flat and, and I go back. I don't know if Mark do it, but I do it because it brings me to the second goal. But you can also stay here, or you can go slide back to uh, to the second fret. So. Then it's the most beautiful chord of the song, it's G minor, 7, I think. And you do it like, again, this free uh, bar chord, just on 6, 5, and 4. And the free 2 one is open. And the little pinky will be on the 5th string, 4th fret. So it will be... Yeah, very beautiful chord. And when you're gonna realize... And now, on my performance, I did just the and when you're gonna realize I just add this uh, to, uh, on the, the bass on 6th string 4th fret but now I found the real chord <laughs> so and when you're gonna realize it was and it's, it's really this bass but now what is this chord before? let's see how it sounds and when you're gonna realize it was just the time was wrong So, G minor 7, when you're gonna realize, and now it's again the, it's like the first chord, but instead of, uh, I don't need the first uh, string, so I don't need also this finger, I use it for other things. So instead of this, I'm losing this finger, and I'm, I'll do, I do it in this way. With the pinky and you see the ring finger now is free to do the bass of the fourth fret on sixth string so as you can see the shape of it it's like which is the chord of f bass a in the regular tuning okay so it took me a while to do it it's something very not natural to the fingers so the fingers are it's, it's a full bow on the second uh, fret and uh, ring finger on 6th string 4th uh, fret 5th string 2nd uh, uh, fret 4th string 4th fret with the little pinky 1st string 2nd fret which is the bow 2nd string 3rd uh, fret with the middle finger and and, it, and we don't need the we don't need the first uh, uh, string. So, so this is the sound. So yeah, you can go until the first uh, string. Okay, like uh, just leave the chord. of the chord it's okay one two three four one one for the one it's like four and a half is getting this yeah. it's very quick chord
Okay. So. When you go to realize for the choice, the time was wrong. Now we're back to the intro and we start it with this uh, Juliet and then you have to do this little arpeggio and between them, between this, the first one and the, the, and the, the slow one you just add something on the middle that it won't be like uh, empty so Juliet so I do it really really um, um, really uh, weak sound of them. I don't do it. Juliet. No, I just do Juliet. And then I just come back with power here. So. So. Again, it's like the ring drop. But the 4, 3, 2, 1 will be very uh, weak sound and then you go back in power here and it will be like this. And then you're gonna realize it was just the time was wrong. Now, and, and if we talk about the right hand here, the, the power will stop. We don't uh, strum here in the first one. You just go back to strum uh, on the second round of the intro before you get to the second verse. And how it looks. So, hey, when you're gonna realize it was just the time was wrong. Now, instead of doing this like we did before, we do it, we still have this, but without this chord. We're still on, on B flat, so. Juliet. Yeah? So, we on B flat and we do with the first finger, second fret, second string. Uh, we just hammer on on the second. Uh, to the third uh, fret on the second string and open and sorry and second fret on the third uh, on the first string so and when we come back to the rhythm we also come back to this F, F, F chord with this bass and not this also with the beautiful bass so Juliet. Second verse, let's see if something interesting happening there. Ah, yes, okay. Both daddy, both dream. This is the, like it was before. And I dream your dream for you. Now your dream is real. And how can you look at me as if I was just another one of your deal? Okay, and here, you just, it, it's like going to the chorus. It's like a town. You're feeling this, uh, uh, energy so and how can you look at me as if I want just another one wait sorry and how can you look at me as if I want and I'm doing this chord instead of this just another one every time I want to do like a transmission of a, of power I do this because it's effect of, of it's open strings and it sounds like sus chord and it's more much beautiful and, right so okay so how can you look at me as if I want just another one of your deal? Yeah, it's the same as before. And you can fall, and then you can fall, you just strum it. Score for change, C, B, C, D minor, O for J, and again C and F, O, C, D minor, and B. Okay, and this is also beautiful. When you go back to the F, B flat, you do. And it's with the first finger. I do everything with the first finger there. I don't know why, but this is how I do it. So, because I like to slide it, don't want to do this, you know. And from sec everything on the first string, second fret, slide it to fourth fret, slide it to fifth fret, go back to fourth fret, and strum the C chord. So, you can fall for change of silver, you can fall for change of gold, you can fall for pretty stranger, and the promises they... Ah, I don't slide it, I do. I 
change fingers from first finger to second finger here. Okay. And this is also strum. Last one is a full chord with you end it with this. So and I go back with the thumb. Don't do it with the thumb, I do it with the finger. I need, sometimes you need to do things in the regular uh, speed that you can know, know how, to, how, to, how you do them, because if you do it slow, I do it uh, differently. Um, okay, so no one's ever ever in the fourth general. Looking for the previous strangers, and the promises they go. You promise me, have a C, again, B flat C, you promise me F. Now, uh, ah, okay, again this, so uh, promise me everything, well they promise me that they can think, do, 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 do. again uh, we talked about it, and again the chorus we talked about, ah, and now the chorus instead of F that go to, uh, to B, it's, it goes, you slide it from, it's like you do this chord, it's like a D, but it's not on the scale of the song, so... But you need to do like a power chord here. I slide it from second, the, the, the full bar. I do it like in this, not the full bar, but this. I slide it from second fret to the fourth fret. And attack the C. So Juliet. Ah, I. Okay, Juliet. When we made. When we made love, you used to be flat. And now, then I love it. The, the rhythm is a little bit different here, so I stop strumming. And I do. And I love you like the stars above. Instead of like you like the stars above. I don't do this, I do it. Like, I love you like the sea, I love the sea, the man of C, B flat, C, F, C, B flat, and now, okay, here I'm doing this kind of D minor, not this, but this, because I need this finger to be free for, do this, okay, so, this free finger, First finger, you do it from faith to the arpeggio till the first string, and with the uh, first finger you go to second fret on the second string and pull off, uh, not pull, just take it off to open B string and fourth string, which is fourth fret because of the chord we are doing. So, okay, and B flat. B flat until the until the third string because dun, 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 dun. so okay until the third string from it's like five four five four three open and then it's like uh, fourth string fourth fret second fret open fourth string. So, and then go back to the G minor seven like before. So, uh, like you like the stars above, love it till I die. There's a place for us. The movie song. When you gonna realize it was just the time was wrong. Juliet. Yeah. Okay. So we have two verses and two. Courses. Let's see what's going on in the third uh, verse. I can't do the talk. It's like the talk on the TV. It's regular. Maybe a little bit chiller than the, the previous one. I can do a love song. It's like the way it's meant to. And I can't do everything. 
but I'll do anything for you. Ah, okay, and now, instead of, we do. It's a little bit shorter, it's the same, like a, you, uh, it's from C chord and uh, wait, I can't do the talks like the normal TV and I can't do a love song like the way it's meant to be and I can't do everything but I'll do anything for you on the F chord, sorry, you uh, it's like instead of you do it without the second string here, so instead of we don't need this now, it's like okay, so it's Second uh, uh, fret to uh, hammer on on the fourth fret on the fourth string, second fret on the first string, and B flat. So, so can't uh, do the do so the way it's meant, way it's meant to be. Can't do anything, but I'll do anything for you. I can't do anything except be in love. Can't do anything except be in love. I do the sus chord, like a C sus, with a, not totally, but F. In love with you. And then I go back to the full, uh, uh, full bar, and I do a page until the second string, and da, da, da. with the pinky third string, fourth fret, go to second uh, fret on the first string, and Again, going back to the F, we, we've empathizing this like this note because, but it's already you just strum it. So I can't do anything. Do anything for you, you. I can't do anything except be in love with you. Ah, I do. I go back to the fourth uh, to this F chord in this fourth uh, string and open. Uh, open this string, so. And all I do is miss you. And here you have to be most minimal that you can be. Be small, small, small with the strumming, but still stay with the with the beat. So. And all I do is miss you. And the way in this part in the song, I think it's just the bass and the drums. There is no other. Uh, Maybe something very weak from behind, but you don't hear, you don't have all this with the guitar and also not the, all these uh, arpeggios of the piano. So it's like, and all I do is miss you, and the way we used to be. And all I do is keep the beats, it's like a bad company. And now you can, Mark is coming in here. And all I do is miss you, and now we we'll go uh, louder. Through the bars of a rhyme Again The short one, not the long one yeah. Through the stars with you Anytime I dream it right. So let's see the Let's do the last uh, verse And uh, all together So I can't do the talk It's like the talk on the TV I can't do a love song it's like the way it's meant to be And I can do everything But I'll do anything for you I can't do anything except be in love with you And all I do is miss you And the way we used to be And all I do is keep the business It's like a bad company And all I do is miss you through the bars of rhyme Juliet, I'll do the stars and deal Anytime Juliet When women in love used to cry I said I love you like the stars above I love you till I die And there is a place for us You know the book song And here when you go to, to the D minor First I told you to do like like a quiet and then go but here it's like a, it's crazy part of the song so we don't have time to rest here so uh, Juliet when you make love used to cry I said I love you like the stars above I love you till I die and there's a place 
Instead of uh, two intros, two rounds of intro between uh, the, the chorus and the, and the verse, it will be four rounds now. And let's see what's going on there. So, uh, when you're gonna realize it was just the time was wrong. Juliet, again, the same. Because we need to go to this bass, remember? The nice bass. Just go from, uh, don't need this, just go to, from C chord, so it sounds like a... Again, leg it up, and here, like, like in the, like in the intro actually. Remember how it goes, sorry. Uh, ah. Okay, second round. And here, you do the same like uh, going to this base. This is the last time. Here, instead of do this, you do this. Okay? And this F chord, and you remove the little pinky, that, and you go back to the bar on the second fret on the first string. Okay? And this is like a B flat major 7. The major 7 will come from the pinky on the first string, 4th fret. Everything is open, and here. Go back to, with the first finger here to the second fret on the first string, open. And on the... Okay, then... And open string, second fret. Uh, second string, open string. So... And go back to the uh, last uh, uh, verse. So let's do the last part uh, to all together. So, and when you're gonna realize it was just the time was wrong. Juliet. Special bass. Another round. Special bass and now major seven B flat. And love struck Romeo. Regular verse in the streets of seven eight. Let everybody do with a love song that is fine. Convenient street light steps out on the shade. Say something like you and me, babe. And now we get to the end of the song. It will be two chords. It will be B flat, you and me, babe. We... Now, when we get to the you and me, babe, we stop. Uh, we stop the strumming. So, that's uh, a Find convenient street light. Steps out of the shade. Send something like you and me, babe. How about it? And now we go strumming, and this is, will be until the end of the song. And we do this sus, not the full one. Okay, this is Tanatan, oh, it's with B flat and on the third string with the little pinky from fourth fret to uh, pull off to second fret on the first string, open uh, first string and back to fourth fret on the third string. So again. 
when second time, ta, it's like in, already on the uh, C, C uh, sus. So, like C sus with this open uh, first thing. It's like go back and, and the same like uh, in the uh, fourth, fret, uh, fourth fret and second fret on the first string, you also can do it on the fourth string. So, just play it. Just know your limits. It's like a on the fourth string it will be second fret, fourth fret, and here the first thing is uh, also second fret and fourth fret. On the second string it will be the open one, the third fret, se second fret, the third fret, and the fifth fret. You can't go to the fourth fret here because you don't like this sound. So okay. So, Here on the first string, it's the second fret, the fifth fret, the fourth fret. So this is the, the notes you're gonna play because I don't tell you exactly what to do. Just feel the the vibe. Like, I just do a little hammer on and pull off. How about again? And the same, just playing around, and then you have. It's like from the on the bar, the second the fret on the first string, fourth string, fourth fret on the fourth string, uh, back to pull off to second fret on the fourth string, and go back to third uh, string, second fret. It's also with strum, so again, nothing, open, and then here it's like when you go back, to, uh, nothing, and then C, and just after you do the C, you jump to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fret on three, two, one. So, and then you go exactly right back to this and, and just play it on the, I told you, I do, I do this, I go back in, uh, just uh, do the, the bow and the middle finger will go to the third fret on the second string and the ring finger on the fourth string, fourth fret. And pull it off, so. And play it. And pin and it's five, three, five on the second fret while you're doing the C chord. That's it. Now you can do it until the end of your days like this. Because this is what the dust it does until it's fading out. And I like to go to back to the intro. From C, sus, and stop everything and start again. Like this major seven. This is second fret on the second string and finish with F until the second string. Without this, because yeah, this is it. Pretty simple, right? So I hope it helped you, and uh, thanks again for everything. Um, and I'll see you in the next uh, tutorial. And you can tell me which tutorial you want, and you know, I'm doing whatever you want. So have a great weekend, and see you soon. Goodbye.